Style Fam. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh, and I'm reviewing WFM. This was a gap down today, and it did not work as a short. And I really liked the gap this morning, but it didn't work. This is one of the reasons why you have to have, number one, a rating system, which I do, to determine what to pick and watch. And you also have to have the entry. And then if it doesn't work, you just stop. And there are times when some of the gaps don't work. I know everyone will say, well, this filled the, filled the gap, and then people play gap filled. That is not a strategy. That's not the reason this didn't work today. I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly the reason it didn't work today, actually. There's two reasons this did not work today. One, the market is strong, and two, Whole Foods has been falling, 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 falling for quite some time. So the reality is that there was short covering that came into one of the targets today in the market, and also, on top of that, the market, overall market was strong. It really should have worked as a short. And I will tell you that this stock is still lower. But as a day trade today, if you were looking to short it, you couldn't make any money on it. And I did watch it into the open, and it didn't work. So let's go. I'll tell you, things work immediately, or they don't. That's what's so interesting, though. Was a sign here. <laughs> I'm just playing it. Okay. I can't make this stuff up if I tried. I'm gonna have to go over that some more in the room. Anyways, this did rally. It didn't reverse swoosh. It just rallied 50 cents. Big whoop. Okay. Looked good here. Nothing wrong with it. Drop flip. So if you shorted this here, it stopped you out. And then this actually looked like it was trying to sell itself down. It didn't do it. It never went anywhere to the downside. But I will tell you, it never really went anywhere to the upside either. Okay? In other words, there was no proper long entry. Here's the one minute. There was no proper long entry on this chart. That's how I could tell, if you're, if you're interested, some people always ask me in the room, how do you know, Melissa, whether the stock's being bought or whether it's short covering? I'll tell you how I can tell, the way it sets up. The way it sets up and the time of the day it sets up. This stock did not actually have new buying that came in on the day because there was no proper long entry. It was short covering that came in because the stock's been down for a while. You know, but it didn't work out as a short. So every once in a while you have these that just don't follow through. I like the gap. It rated well. I did it. I lost in it. And I did something else on the day, but this is, this is, this is trading. You know, not every single solitary thing you do works. People always say, oh, do a video on one that doesn't work. Here you go. WFN did not work. But I'll tell you why. It did not work because of the fact that it had short covering that came in today. The market was strong as well, but it didn't get bought. Okay, And that's an important thing to note. And also, this really is still lower. <laughs> I This could even work tomorrow. I'm, I'm not shorting this tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not doing this tomorrow. I'm not... I'm not going to touch this tomorrow because I want to look at something brand new, but I'll tell you right now, this probably holds $30 tomorrow and drops and breaks. So, you know, do it if you want to. This is Melissa Arma with StockSwish.com, a review of WFM. It was a failed bearish gap today in the day. Did not reverse swoosh, so there wasn't signs not to take it, but it was short covering that came in. No real long entry. Couldn't have made money either way with this today. It just didn't work. And sometimes you have things like that in the market. Have a great night, everyone. See you tomorrow.